And welcome to the coolest place in the game. Look at the statues, they are massive, they have big swords. Well, the swords are a little too thick. They could use the swords as paddles, you know, when, when using a boat. Very cool imagery, but I'm not sure if it's quite clear how they build them, since they seem to be much more advanced than the rest of the things around them. Anyway, this is the Trombach Hunt, it's over here. By the way, as a tip, when you go to the dungeon, make sure to buy all of the recipes for these items. Uh, now, these are most likely to improve your production. Beekeeper, green rack, for me drawing rack, ring vat and beehive. But that means you'll have to switch them out from time to time. Because depending on their job, they'll get a different item to help them in their job. And then their assigned job will be another thing. So, unless you all switch the items here and there, it will be kind of tedious to do it. Maybe the developers really intend you to play with 20 people or something like that, which would be crazy. Okay, so the hunt starts here. This hunt is one of the more tricky ones, because I needed a lot of time to do this. You need to squint your eyes and get super close to the computer screen. Or laptop screen. Because the tracks are very visible over here, and this is the problem. This, there are two types of tracks in the game, or trails. One blood and one footprints. The footprints one is much harder to see, because look at this, it's almost invisible. Let's camp over here and let's rest a little bit. And then we'll continue our little adventure into the unknown. I'm already full. I like having such a small party. I'm used to feeding them 100 units of food or something crazy like that. Also remember that the loot you get from the tombs is randomized. You'll have to do tombs more than once or more tombs in order to get all of the items. Which is kind of tedious because remember you have unique items from the tombs. You have unique items from the weekly quest and you also have the boss unique items. So it will take a while until I collect every piece of them. So let's continue opening them up again. Okay, and this is the really, really annoying part over here. No here. Because you see the tracks kind of leading near the, the camp. And then they lead into the forest, but there's nothing to be seen in the forest, so it will annoy you. So you have to look at this over here in order to get the hint, and this over here, but it's almost invisible. I'm not sure how you would see it. Judging how hard it is to spot, so let's go in again. We'll, we have to wait until night time. To see it anyway. And there they, there they go again after us. It doesn't really matter because you just have to be in the vicinity of the of the wild hunt. And it materialized I mean you okay, see these are the tracks and this is the hunt. One clear sign that you have reached the right spot is if they are one level above you or if the level is in red. Interesting. The level is in red but they they don't seem to be they don't seem to be they don't seem to be level 8 like we are. I mean, we are level 7, so I'm not sure what is with this uh, RNG stuff. It can be level 8 or 7. Okay, then I choose it to be level 8. <laughs> sure, why not? It feels like we are the best when fighting against animals. Oh, I changed this weapon. That weapon is super bad. I need to remember to take it away. I mean, let me show you. It's not as bad as it seems in the beginning, but... 
I guess we can apply the fever to our free attacks in. Doesn't do much damage and it will mess up your other attacks as well. And I think I'll just give them the shield to retaliate, which again will kind of ruin his damage. was a mistake. <laughs> Everyone is motivated now. Well, I guess it's a hit and run. Yeah, that's nice script. If you manage to... Oh, okay. That, that's what I like. So that was a 100 damage just because of RNG. But sometimes the RNG is too much. I don't see any pigs. Oh, okay. One point of terror. That's okay. We can handle a little terror, can we? Oh, that is my nightmare! She went unlocked electric draw catcher. Wait, what? What do you mean? There's only boars? Not even a full battle? That's... I am offended. That was too easy. So as you can see the difficulty jumps all over the place. So doing the hunt quest which should be one of the harder quests is much 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 easier than doing the tomb that had a boss in it. I am... Well I guess we can go to the brotherhood and improve our gear a little bit more. I didn't feel insulted by that fight. That's all they had. I don't know. The game doesn't seem finished to me. Why is the hunt so easy? Not even the first hunt was this easy. Sadly, I cannot use this mace that I thought is going to be good just because of how little the damage is, how small. is 20 to 40 which means if you hit three times you'll do 100% damage or you could just start with this one which is 80 or you can even use this one if we have more strength than the enemy double damage and a crit hmm The problem is that on this difficulty you'll never ever have enough damage to enough strength to go beyond that. I said I became a mercenary to fight bandits and serve lords. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. It's hard. I keep jumping at shadows. This region is extremely dangerous. Ah. Oh. Hmm. That's not such a bad. This region is extremely upgrade. dangerous. I'll take I it. hope your group is well trained. If not, I can help. Oh, we are very well trained. So 13 it goes to 16. This region is extremely dangerous. I hope your group is well trained. If not, I can help. Why don't you shut up? This region is extremely dangerous. So let's get one more skill I mastery hope your group is well trained. If not, I'll one more help. one. Oh, uh, I would want to get more, but I'm so poor right now. Okay, let's do it like this, and then we'll do some other quests. Now, keep in mind, most of the times you don't even have a quest to upgrade unless you level up to nine or to eight. At eight, you get the next point, which will be super, super good for us. Your blood that is nice, but it's not good enough. So what skill can we upgrade at the moment? I think engine will be super fun with this guy. 
this is not, I mean, that's not worth it as you saw. Applying another vulnerability will not be helpful either because not much, not much you can get from it. And this guy already is leveled up in everything. Well, I guess we can upgrade this skill. It will kind of be overpowered if someone is with their back against us. And we'll give him the run as well. I think I want to see those charlatans now. As for the boss fight, I think we'll do it next episode. We will do some quests for now. They never had a chance against us, that's the funny part. I'm not sure what this hunt was supposed to do, but it seems like they came really unprepared. Okay, now it's time to show you my weapons, my new toys, my fancy new toys. And kind of like the tactics I'll be using for most of the game. I, I guess I can change if I find better gear or more interesting options. My opening is pretty standard usually. I forgot to use his attack. Ah, that's okay. So you'll be over here, kind of like the first line of defense. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Mm, that's pretty nice. A little bad for you, I have flanking. I have running now. I can see it. It was not close enough to the Marauders. I did. That's funny. That's not funny. That's quite sad, actually. Why don't you have torches in your hand? Hmm. He seems to be kind of barehanded at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you choose the wrong target to attack. So as you can see now, all of them will execute an attack of opportunity when they get hit in the face. Because of the shield. So I guess that's a little better than inflicting 50% damage. They do 100% damage when they get punched in the face. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I don't know, some items are so overpowered in this game. I don't know how the developers can make items so overpowered and certain fights so overpowered. It has blackout and that. That should always be a crit. Yes, it does. Yeah, I guess it's a little easier at level 8 for us. I think we have enough armor. But before we do anything else, let's just put these weapons to storage. We'll probably use them at some point in the game. Let's not know. But this shield also applies fragility. Hmm. A very interesting prospect, but again, the damage is basically three times lower and yeah, it's more or less the same unless you will kind of gang up on a target but at the same time you will if you gang up on a target you'll kill it regardless I 
Ah, yes, the sounds in this game are amazing, especially in this winter area. I mean, they, they kind of went to gimmick you the area, so we have a... We have a vineyard, we have a mountain area, we have a swamp area. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, I guess it's time for us to steal. We're almost at zero suspicion. I could have stolen stuff now. Now we can access it. Nice. Hmm. Really, we cannot put the python anywhere? Fine, I'll let me defeat for now. Let's go back to the trunker camp. I'm curious what my reward is for such an easy battle. Just had to fight them without a nightmare. The people of Drombak have been trading with us since the Eyes Reckoning first appeared. They must be afraid of traveling to New Asphalt. Well. When I said I would steal something, this is exactly what I had in mind. The people of Drombak have been trading with us since the Eyes Reckoning first appeared. They must be afraid of traveling to... Well, at first I wanted to steal only one, but then I changed my mind. Why not both, right? Ah, mercenaries. It appears congratulations. This armor layer is yours. And now the armor layer of the air mine. Which seems to be useless. Why would you want dexterity and movement speed? Dexterity plus two movement speed plus one. I'm not sure, so I, I want to get the ones that are dexterity and critical hit and strength and critical hit, but I guess. That will be useful in the future at some point as well. <laughs> Movement speed is nice, but the enemy will come to you regardless, so why bother going that far away when they'll just come to you? Finally, new level, level 4. Taking Innocence access to the Black Market. I'm not sure what the Black Market did, but we'll see. Have a chance to trigger a surprise or an ambush. To fight merchants is better, yes. Yeah, I think I like this. I will steal a lot more because when we go to the next area, it will be nothing like so far. We will finish things at a remarkable pace. Because now we're actually strong enough, our skills are high enough, and we have gathered quite a bit of experience under our belt from the full release so now all of the resolution the trip is not currently currently this <laughs> okay so if you steal stuff you can use this faking innocence this will be super useful in a certain quest with a certain septel if i remember correctly i think that was her name yeah These guys are not bandits. You'll see what they are in a second. It's actually a bit funny what they are. No, oh, I cannot wait until the boss fight. I guess I can farm a little more, but uh, what would be the point? One of your companions is turning into a wild bee. We have the solution. Drawing upon ancient tradition and years of relentless research, my companions and I have the means to solve all of your problems. Behold, mercenaries! A revolutionary cure for the plague, the homeo pill. <laughs> Some people might do that wrong, but it's homeo pill from homeopath. Homeopathy is a alternate. I cannot say homeopathy is an alternative medicine pathway. I would say normal medicine. 
is normal medicine and then it branches out into the homeopathy. Homeopathy is a philosophy where using the smallest amount of active ingredient or active substance can make a person feel better or cure or prevent a disease. So there are some homeopathic medicine that actually work very very well and you can give it to the most sensitive people, even pregnant women can take homeopath pills and most of the times they will work but only a certain, a certain category of them, a very small number for example for colds, for sore throat, a little bit for immunity, cough syrup and that stuff, that will work, especially from a certain brand but most of the times when you heal homeopathy you should probably not use it because it's not going to influence you that much or very little besides it's mostly dependent on the person if they'll respond or not I could get her herbarium or the recipe for the homeopils well I guess I will always take the recipe the scholars put about I knew they valued medicine highly but to send mercy you can keep the homeopils I don't want the border guard Small sweet tasting pills make for comfortable snack. Yeah, they do. Most of them are pills with sugar, and that's why this is where they invented this term of sugar pills. Because I mean, it's not really true. They're not just sugar pills. They have some active ingredient in them, which can be, example, an extract of a plant or a metal. Well, not exactly a metal, a mineral element or something like that. But yeah, they're not really sugar pills. Now you know. This is food, it, it's a vegetable one. Mushrooms, honey and ham. I guess it'll just make us a little happy. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Oh, that flag makes look super super nice. I like how in position. Yeah, let's sell all of this stuff. I guess I can keep that one. Putrid oil has a chance to apply fever, so I guess we can put this all on the weapon since it's more or less the same thing. I was trying to add the putrid oil to that weapon and you can actually add it to the back of carbine, but then I don't know, that def defeats the whole point of it. So I guess I'll just use this one fever, which is a 10% damage stack, because he might get attacked and he'll apply the damage on the counter attack, the fever I mean. So he might even apply, let's say, two stacks of fever per round, or maybe even three if he is very, very lucky. Sell that as well. Ah, whatever, let's sell that one as well, I don't care. Okay, that was a fun one. I guess I have a little bit of resupplying and other things to do and then I'll try to do the boss fight. If I cannot do the boss fight, I'll do something else. We still have a few locations to do like the Forgotten Cave, the Sheepfold and then the camp. I guess we can do the north side of the map and then we can go over here and do that quest. And maybe the cursed village of Ashtel next. So we still have a few things to do on the map, very very big and important things. Only one mission for this. For the main quest, I didn't visit the iron mine. Huh, interesting. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.